So in the last part, I got into a broken down apartment building and I found a random Japanese man called Media or Media. I'm I don't know what I said before. I'm calling Media. Pretty sure that's it. Uh, yeah, this guy, scientist from Japan. So he found you. Uh, also, our partner Daniel, he found us. Actually, no, it's Japanese, man. They just said that. <laughs> Gillen's being stupid. Daniel, how you doing, buddy? Your son's okay. We saw that in the last part. There's no one getting out of here but cops. It's a ghost town. New York City is abandoned. Uh, it's kind of weird, actually, now that you think about it, because it's, it's a busy city. Also, where's Eve? Uh, who can say? Ben was okay, though. But the rest of the audience, well, they just got liquefied. It was pretty horrific. We saw a cutscene. Disappeared. You mean they weren't ignited? No, they melted into slime. It was weird. I don't know what to say. Yeah, something new. That didn't happen in the novel. Yeah, that's right. There's a novel. It took place in Japan. It was called Parasite Eve. There was a movie adaptation. It wasn't super accurate, but at the same time, uh, I guess I could give you some details about it. You see, it all started with the scientist's wife getting into a car accident. She died, but the scientist was trying to bring her back to life using mitochondria. And so, using the mitochondria, she started developing freaky powers. It was like his wife, a clone if you will. She, she was basically calling herself Mitochondria Eve. She acquired the scientist's sperm to give birth to the ultimate being. It was all kinds of fucked, but you see, uh, the original wife, she had an organ transplant. And that person that had the organs transplanted, well, uh, she started developing weird stuff. She used the scientist's sperm. It was kind of a fucked up story, really, when you get down to it. But also kind of interesting. Didn't have anything about animal mutation, but at the same time, uh, go look it up, viewers. I mean, I wish I could explain more. Anyways, I are you okay? It's kind of a plot dump. Yeah, I'm fine. We're just gonna move on with the plot. Uh, that monster had gotten a hold of you. I thought it was too late. You know, I thought it was too, but it turns out I had enough parasite energy to get myself out of that situation. Inside, of, it felt like it was there was another being. Uh, sure, it could be like spontaneous combustion, or it could be like there was some sort of power. Unexplainable power that we've been using in the form of parasite energy, but I digress. There may be a reason for it, a reason that I know and am not giving any explanation on. It's totally possible. It's not like Gilm has played this game like four or five times already and has an idea of what's going on, and so he's just basically ad-libbing everything that's going on. Personally, I kind of identify with Aya right here. I would have a mental breakdown. I'd be like, get the fuck out of this room. Let me just calm down so I can put this all, like, in order. No, Aya's a lot cooler than that. Also, if you see her in Parasite Eve 2, you know, she's a lot older, a lot more con in control of her powers. She's kind of amazing, really, when you get down to it. Uh, at least Japanese man understands it. <laughs> because I have a tough time trying to pronounce his last name. If someone wants to comment on how to do that, I'd, I'd be more than happy to incline that. By the way, Japanese man there, Media, he wasn't in there. He wasn't in the... As far as I'm aware, he wasn't in the book. Movie, I guess I should say. I didn't read the book. I, I saw the movie adaptation. Uh, I don't recall Media ever appearing in that movie at all. He could have been in the book, though. Could have. I wouldn't know. And you call yourself the person who knows the lore, Gildum. How dare you? But I, you're the best partner ever. <laughs> no, seriously. I, I really do like the relationship between Daniel and Aya. It's great. Great A stuff. What is the TV flashing about? <laughs> 
it really catches my attention. I mean, it's the thing that's actually moving throughout the scene, other than the fire and uh, Aya's model, her sprite model, was that Maya, Maya died in the car crash with Mom. No, it couldn't be. Uh, you want to know a, a little tidbit? <laughs> Uh, selection, everybody. <laughs> That's the next chapter. That's the tidbit. <laughs> oh, will I save my progress? I mean, yeah, I guess I could do that. You know, just make a little save right here and now. Get it all out of the way. Central Park. Who cares about Central Park? That's in the past. Now, in the future, we got day three. Chapter 3. You can call the ch day's chapter. That's what I've been doing. Also, who's reporting in New York City? Because, I mean, I figure the reporters have gone, like, they're out of the town, along with everybody else. Maybe there's some people at the barricade. I don't know. Police barricade. It's totally something going on. Uh, did someone turn put out that fire, or did the field just run out? At this point, I'm willing to believe anything. Also, this is a ghetto-ass street. Which I guess is believable for New York City. That was a long night's sleep. You know, I got a question. You know that some people in the city, like, I don't know, homeless folk, drug dealers, gangsters, the people would still be here. They'd be like renegades. I mean, I guess the alternative is Eve lit them on fire and they spontaneously combust. We did see the police officer get lit on fire and that's how Medea here escaped through it but at the same time uh, I figure it wouldn't be foolproof and there'd still be gangsters here or did they all spontaneously combust? I mean I guess it could go either way I'd believe both I just figure there'd be more corpses about also, our partner. Hey, man, no traffic. This is the way it ought to be. You should move to the country. I figure he'd be more inclined to live in the middle, middle Central America. There's hardly any traffic there. Uh, yeah, we're going to need some big gun uh, gunshot. We're going to need a gun. Oh, man. Uh, also... It should be noted, outside the gun shop, I believe there's a pharmacy over there. That's right, to your right, pharmacy. To your left, gun shop. And in the middle, there's a there's an alley that you can't access because the, uh, the game won't let you. It has limited supply. I mean, granted, maybe there's a hobo back there, and so I can go talk to him, and he can spout something about how the world's ending, but I, I digress. Not important. Right now, media... It's just like they weren't kidding when they said they sell guns in America. You know, I hear Japan, guns aren't allowed except for like, I don't know, police or something. Basically, it's a big no-no in Japan. So, I guess it makes sense for Media to be like, wow, guns, this is kind of different. There it is, we'll help ourselves to some ammo. You know, like, we're just, we're just gonna get help ourselves to the gun shop. Daniel, no. No, Daniel, yes. Aya, move out of the way. I'm gonna get in the... Dude! <laughs> Look, I get that you wanted to get in, but it wasn't a desperate situation. Couldn't you have let Aya just, like, step out of the way? <laughs> I, I don't think her convictions are that strong, buddy. We think so, but we don't have any scientific proof. <laughs> it's funny. I have made it funny. Well, all that said... I got a question. Isn't there some sort of alarm? Wouldn't this make a loud buzzing sound like being, I don't know, I'm just saying shops have alarms, stuff. I know it's 1997 in the setting of the game, but at the same time, 20 years ago, I'm willing to bet there was a loud alarm that would sound anytime a store got broken into. And that's not to say that there aren't, like, there isn't power. We saw the TV on the other day. The inventory's full. I guess I could replace it with something. Uh, like this poison cure. To get a tool. That's very handy. I could make full use of that. You there, Medi, a scientist, man. 
This is just too much. Your mind can't comprehend all the guns. I mean, look at that. You got rifles, you got handguns, you got... Uh, what is that? <laughs> Submachine gun? I don't even know at this point. No, I don't want that. I already got the item that was in it. It was a tool. It was super amazing. It was fantastic. I should probably replace one of my weapons with something along those lines. Uh, you know what? Give me a second, Beers. Now that's what I call super empowerment. My gun's even more badass than it was before I started this part. Uh, well, anyways, Daniel, what do you have to say? I probably already read this. Go ahead and pick out your favorite accessories. Okay, alright. My favorite accessory is leaving the gun store because I'm done here. As far as I'm aware, there ain't nothing left here other than going to the pharmacy. A little bit of a restock period. You know, a little bit of a break from all the normality that we had going on. All the craziness. The exact opposite of what I just said. I contradicted myself. Gillen's being very contradictory. In order to leave all this, just I think you gotta talk to Daniel. I'll find out in a second. Because the truth of the matter is, we gotta go to the pharmacy. 24 hour pharmacy right here. I bet Daniel's gonna be like, pow, it's open. Just the smell of this place gives me cre I guess he doesn't like hospitals. Or maybe it has a very extinct, er, a very distinct odor. So we test the medication. All strong. Do they not sell the strongest stuff in uh, Japan? Door's broken. Oh. Guess we don't need to make a big, huge deal out of this. Just open the door and go on through. Wow. This place got ransacked. Probably by everybody trying to leave. What's with him? All of a sudden he's happy. Yeah. He's probably like, oh man, look at all this stuff. I can use this for medical research. I can use this to create some sort of super healing agent. Sure, he's probably not that kind of scientist, but uh, I'm, I'm sure he knows exactly what to do with all of this. And I'm fine with that. Because, <laughs> I mean, I'm going I'm to need someone who can create a super ultra mega cure. I wish I could take... Why? Can I, can I get the reason behind that? Are you just going to leave it as a cryptic... Like, I wish I could take all this back to Japan. Why? Can I, can I, can I get some sort of elaboration on that? Someone want to explain why? Is there something that Japan doesn't have that America does? I mean, sure, I guess that could apply to a lot of things, but I'm talking about this specific situation. Is, is it because they outlawed certain types of medication and all of a sudden he's like, Oh man, this Tylenol, that's gonna solve all the issues. That's some hardcore drugs right there. Yeah, I'll replace something. I don't need, uh, I don't need this junk. But I do need that. And what else do I need? Yeah, I'll, I'll replace with more junk. A tool. Aw, uh, I, I guess I gotta cut it again. And now that I've made my armor even stronger than necessary, plus used all the uh, stab boosters, I'm pretty good to go for the next chapter. At least that's what I want to say, but to be honest, I don't really know what else to say other than uh, let, let's get to it. You guys, you guys are just like, oh man, look at this pharmacy, I'm gonna jack everything in sight. Me, I'm like, let, let's get the show on the road. We got, we got a plot to do. We got things to see. We got stuff to go about. Next chapter is gonna happen. Actually, the next chapter already happened. But at the same time, we gotta, we gotta figure out what the next chapter is all about. Hey, if you're supposed to be up, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, he's saying I gotta write shotgun. Cause you know he's my partner and all that. Uh, media? Dude. Th that's cool. So, yeah, I guess we're all set. I guess we can go. No more road rules or anything. It's pure anarchy. With good reason, but still pure anarchy. It's all good to go. You might be wondering, what do we do now? Well, we're in Soho. 
I guess we can go to Carnegie Hall, the museum, Central Park. Uh, honestly, I'm not really seeing much else to do other than going to the New York Police Department. Might as well. I mean, I guess I could check everything else, but I'm not gonna. Because we gotta go to the police department, talk to everybody, get a save in here and there, talk to the receptionist. Oh man, this guy out here started. Oh, I know where I need to go. It just occurred to me that we didn't need to go to the police department. But I guess I will stick here in the police department, talk to everybody, get an update, because I might as well, now that I'm here, now that I got everything going, talk to my co-workers, get an update on their situation.